This right here is the Leia Loompad 2, the world's first tablet that literally uses AI to create an endless supply of 3D content. Yes, I said 3D. And I know what you're thinking, there's no way this looks good, but I've been using it for a bit and it actually replicates the kind of 3D experience that you get in a movie theater from the comfort of your home or anywhere you go. Now, unfortunately, just like a 3D movie, you actually have to see it in person with your own two eyes to get the real 3D experience. But in this video, I'll do my best to explain how it works, what you can do with it, including how you can watch any YouTube video in 3D, and I'll walk you through all the apps it comes with to make really good use of the integrated 3D technology, but before that, I wanna quickly go through some of the specs. Not only is the display 3D, but you actually get dual light field cameras on both the front and the back so you can take photos and record video and see them in 3D. You can even use their chat app to do a 3D video call with someone else, which is actually really impressive. It comes with a 12.4 inch 2560 by 1600 resolution display, which uses Leia's third gen proprietary DLB 3D technology, which is a thin nanotech layer that sits beneath the screen, so you don't need any glasses at all. It also comes with flagship specs, so a Snapdragon 888 chip, Android 12, 8 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage, Dolby Atmos speakers, and even an SD card slot. You've got speaker grills on the sides, yes, quad speakers. You have pins on the bottom for cases and stands and of course, you get a USB-C port. Now getting into how this works, let's open up the Leia Player app, which is packed with photos and 3D videos as well. So let's open this right here. You guys can see from the top cam. Unfortunately, you probably can't see the 3D in action, but oh my goodness, this really does work insanely well. This is like going to a 3D movie theater. Wow, that's good. Literally, the faces are up close and everything has depth. That is amazing. There you go, I just brought up the brightness. Oh my goodness, this is, literally, it's working insanely well. Now within this app and basically any other app, you can easily just hit the 2D button. There you go, you're back to a regular basic tablet experience. Or when you switch to 3D, it works incredibly well because it separates the different layers of depth and then pops them out for your 3D experience. But then even better, it actually uses face tracking with the cameras so that when you adjust the angle of the iPad, it actually moves around using the face tracking. Now they also have their Leia Flix app where you can rent actual 3D Hollywood movies like you can see right here. Just click on one, there you go, rent it, $2, and you get a full movie theater 3D experience, which is awesome. But the main thing I wanna show you is the Leia Tube app, which you can go into and watch a bunch of different videos. We have ones from Vimeo, but the coolest thing is that you could actually convert YouTube videos into 3D videos, and I'll show you how to do it right now. Just go into the YouTube app, then find a video like, let's say, our own 13 Pro Max Honest Review. You just click Share, click More, and then click on Leia Tube. It's gonna open it up, and look at this, it's automatically converting a 2D video into 3D. And just like that, a few seconds later, check this out, it is already done. 3D video is done and oh my goodness, it's, it's actually working. I can't believe it. The 3D is working, guys. Oh my goodness, how does it know? How does the AI do this? Okay, even, even the A-roll. Oh my goodness, this is absolutely insane. Wow. Now sometimes it does look like the 3D effect can kind of get glitched out a little bit, but they have the slider where you can turn down the effect, which solves that issue. And I like it like this, where I still see the 3D, the glitches go away, and it's a really nice experience. Next up, they have their Leia Cam app, which you can open up and take 3D photos and videos. So I don't know if you guys can see this on the top cam, but there you go, just take a photo of the iPhone right there, and it actually shows you this window at the top where you can see kind of the 3D depth data. Now going back to the phone, there you go, you can see we have a 3D iPhone image, and even better, I took this 3D selfie, and I legit actually pop out 
This is incredible. And then I definitely want to show you guys Leia Dream. Check this out. This actually uses stable diffusion to create AI generated art from any prompt that you put in. So let's say we'll go to the diffusion model. Let's do uh, diffusion 2.1 right there. We've set it up. Let's give us, I don't know, just one image for now. Change the width. Let's just do something crazy like human with a cat head. <laughs> Click the dream button. Let's see what pops up. Whoa, there you go. We just got this really, really weird thing. We had this human and then a cat in front of it. But check this out. We actually have the 3D model that we can click into. There you go. You can see the 3D depth, switch to 2D, 3D focus, adjust that. Whoa, okay. Even animate it. Okay, this is crazy. Let's try man with bare head. All right, look at that. That is so crazy. What in the world? Whoa, okay, this 3D effect is, wow, much more pronounced. This is so weird. Now they also have the Leia Pix app and Leia Pix Converter, which lets you convert your own images into 3D and share them. Like we got Pikachu right here. We have this really cool kind of astronaut. Wow, that's that's really, really cool. They're just kind of floating there. And look, we got ET right here and that actually works insanely well. It almost like feels like he's in the device. Now there's also the Leia Viewer. You could actually come up here and open up one of these 3D models, like actual 3D models, and you could look at them in 3D. Oh my goodness, this works so incredibly well. Wow. Oh my, oh that feels weird. It feels like it's right here, but it's not. And wow, look, I can even zoom in. Got a little rabbit there. Oh, that is, this is so, Wow. Oh, like my brain it can't even comprehend how my fingers are not going into it. Okay, that is realistic. Now there's also the Leia Frame app, which basically turns the tablet into kind of like an art picture frame, but with 3D and it cycles through the photos and wow, that is kind of cool. It kind of gets rid of everything else and just plays a slideshow which you could show people a bunch of 3D photos. Now they also have the game Cyber Cop. So as you can see, it's working 3D. <laughs> Let's take a look. This seems to be, I think it's actually a demo. So this is a game demo kind of showing what it would look like. Woo! This is very simple. Hey, where'd that guy go? Oh, there's a guy. Boom. <laughs> it's like cyberpunk, but cyber cop. Boom. And Bam! Well, this is definitely working in 3D, that's for sure. And there you go, uh, that's it. Okay, well, the demo's a demo. There's also the dungeon, find the key. Whoa, this looks kinda crazy. Oh, there's a bad guy, and he's dead. Oh, one hit, one hit or quitter, man, okay. This is crazy, like the 3D is like, when you move it around, like, oh, look at, the oh, look. I can see it from like a whole different 3D angle. This looks insane now. Why can't I kill those guys? Do I just run away? Dude, run! Oh, there's a boss. Come on, oh, that was quick. He's dead. Yeah, I'm gonna run, guys. Oh yeah, this guy's got a trash can on his head. Trash can helmet. Oh, there you go, found the, and they died. And I won! And then of course, finally, they have the Leia App Store where you can go in, you can download a bunch of different 3D apps that people have, you can download different 3D games as well, so that's their app store. Now the awesome thing about all of this is that they basically created their own 3D app ecosystem so that you could have endless amounts of 3D content, especially since you can turn any YouTube video into a 3D video and you don't even need to wear glasses or anything else, it just works. Now I know some of you guys are gonna say that this is a gimmick, no one's actually gonna use this, but after watching this for a bit, I'm actually impressed how it looks like a 3D movie in the theaters. It actually works and it looks great. And in any case, you could also just click the 3D button and then switch to 2D and use it like a regular tablet. But the big idea here is why not have both. So you guys let me know what you think about this 3D tablet, the Loom Pad 2, down below. And I'm gonna have links where you can order it in the description and pinned comment below as well. So hopefully you enjoy this review. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.